How's everybody doing out there? Peace and blessings to the hearers and doers of the Lord's word. This is the awakening. I am Solikin, the messenger. I want to go ahead and give you this message quickly. Um, Jesus reset Peter to the spot that he was in after his denial. This is how God works. When you God test after your test, God may, you know, God will train you. He'll raise you up to do a certain task and to do a certain thing. And you'll be and you'll be gaining traction, building up momentum. And when the test comes, if you fail said test, God will reset you to where you started from the beginning. Like you have to take the test over. You have to get reset. If you don't be, beat your test and overcome that, then you will not be um, worthy to enter the kingdom of heaven. I know this is something that pastors don't talk about, you know, in church, people don't talk about this stuff, which is in, uh, the sad thing, which is the problem, which is why, you know, we suffer so much in, um, in this world, you know, in, in our communities, we're supposed to be the believers in the church people are supposed to understand things like this pastors you know people even people in the catholic church are supposed to understand stuff like this jesus so peter was following jesus christ he was a uh, the disciple that loved jesus like what well, they all did but peter was the one one of the disciples who loved jesus the most like he said you know peter was saying that he was follow jesus everywhere he would die with him that's like, that's like, you know, your friend or something. Y'all talk about all the time what y'all going to do, the plans y'all going to have, what what you two would do if y'all got into any altercation or whatever, how you, you know, how you would defend each other, this type of stuff. And and just imagine you two and your friend talk about that. And then one day you get jumped by a group of four guys and your friend runs. You're going to be looking at them like, whoa, like, you know, that wasn't what I expected. That wasn't what you said. You know, that wasn't the energy you was giving me. Now, with Peter, the thing about him, Peter, you know, this is one of the great, like I said, one of the greatest men of the Bible. Um, definitely a, a, one of, a better man than me, I say. You know, Peter, Peter was riding hard with Jesus. Like, you know, Peter was following Jesus Christ. So like, you know, the living God on earth and God and Jesus chose him because of who he was. And Peter went on to do great things, you know, down the line after Jesus's crucifixion. And and they ended up and Peter ended up fulfilling, overcoming his um beating the demon that, you know, Facing his demon and overcoming that, and he ended up making it to the end. But let me go ahead. But he had to be reset. Let's just go to um, this is in the book of Mark, chapter 14, verse 26. Said they sang a hymn and went out to the Mount of Olives. This is when Jesus is with the disciples. Um, you know, while they're, uh, they're in the Mount of Olives, and it says, All of you will desert me, Jesus told them. For God has declared through the prophets, I will kill the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. But after I am raised to life again, I will go to Galilee and meet you there. Peter said to him, I will never desert you no matter what the others do. Peter, Jesus said, before the cock crows a second time tomorrow, a second time tomorrow morning, you will deny me three times. No, Peter exploded. Not even if I have to die with you. I will never deny you. And all the others vowed the same. And we all know, you know, after this, Jesus is um in the olive grove at the or at the Garden of Geshemine, and he's there praying. You know, Jesus is agonizing, agonizing pain for the sins of the world that he carrying all within him. You know, on his shoulders, he carry. He have to. You know, he's seeing all of this sin and all experiencing all of the wickedness of the world all in one time. 
and he's dealing with all of that. But you have the disciples basically like and Peter basically saying, look, man, we not we going to follow you wherever you go. We're going to we'll, we'll be able to take on that burden with you. It's what they said. They didn't know what they were talking about. They didn't know the burden that Jesus had to shoulder. Now, let's go to um, Mark chapter 14, verse 66. It said This is after Jesus had got caught. It said, meanwhile, Peter was below in the courtyard. One of the maids who worked for the high priest noticed Peter warming himself at the fire. She looked at him closely and then announced, you were with Jesus of Nazareth. Peter denied it. I don't know what you're talking about, he said, and walked over to the edge of the courtyard. Then a rooster crowed, crowed once. Then the maid said, saw him standing there and began telling others, there he is. There's the disciple of Jesus. Peter denied it again. It's the second time he denied it. A little later, others standing around the fire began saying, Peter, you are too one of them, for you are from Galilee. He began to curse and swear. I don't even know this fellow you talking about, he said. And immediately the rooster crowed a second time. Suddenly Jesus' words flashed through Peter's mind. Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And Peter began to cry. Now, God could have left Peter there. He could have turned, he could have, he could have did what he could have left Peter there began to send the evil spirits on him and you know torment him like he did judas you know basically shun and ostracize um, peter but no you know god had favor jesus christ had favor on peter and he understood that peter didn't understand what he was talking about when he was saying that he was gonna follow jesus he didn't know like jesus is fixing to be crucified and killed in one of the worst ways possible you understand and only the divine god man you know that jesus was could endure all of that you saw that on the passion of the christ like they did jesus dirty man you understand did him real dirty and he was innocent but god forgave jesus understood that and he forgave peter you understand when jesus came back when he was resurrected he came to peter peter was there like he didn't and peter he told peter just continue and build the church he told him to continue to work you know, he didn't shun Peter. He didn't he didn't come to Peter and be like, oh, you, you failed your test, man. I told you I knew you was going to do it. <laughs> I told you you was, you know, so you failed. No, he just reset him. You understand? He reset because that, and that's a good example for all believers. If you fail, you know, try again. As long as you are alive, you have time to make it to the end and try for the Lord. You understand? You have to try again. If you're trying to stop doing something, try stop a sin or a habit and you fail, don't be discouraged. Just try again. And you know what I'm saying? The Lord has reset you. Now you have to do that. But you have, you're not going to move forward until you get over that hump. You know, Peter wasn't going to be able to move forward until he was going to go boldly die for God. G Peter died. Do you know Peter? He got crucified upside down. You know they killed Peter in a in a horrible way, but the disciples' mandates. You know for the only there weren't many disciples that li you know that lived and lived out their lives. They they followed Jesus in in the manner of going to die for him, a boldly standing a boldly standing in the world and telling them, look, it's worth my life. To, for, um, to give you uh, It's worth my life to follow To be able to follow Jesus Christ And, uh, and to be able to do what he told me to do And follow him And in, 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 uh, in, uh, the ways that he have for me to live It's worth me dying And I don't care what you say You can't stop me It's worth dying for And that's when Peter embraced that That's when he moved forward You know, that's when Jesus unlocked him to move forward If Peter would have never done that He would have never moved forward he probably would have just went back to being a fisherman, went over there and been a, you know, messed around and been in the worst state than he was before he met Jesus Christ. Start having, you know, PTSD torments. But God reset him. You know, it's the same thing he do with you. If you go in, if you doing something, you you call you, you are a, a believer. If you ever gave yourself to, if you've ever gave your your life to Jesus Christ and, and you know, um, and confess with your mouth that he's your savior 
Jesus, then you have a relation. You began your walk in relationship with him. And you were on Satan's radar from then on. You And God is going to test you, you know, to, to, to see if you really mean what you say. So when you're doing that, say say you said that you made that commitment to God and now you and your, you're with your friends and you get peer pressured into, you know, theft. You get peer pressured into stealing something from this convenience store and beating up and then they end up beating up the clerk or something like that. See, God, that was your test and you failed. God is going to probably yoke you up I and mean, how you get caught, do you know, punish you and reset you. You know what? That situation, that similar situation is going to present itself again. Yep. And the next time, if you don't pass this time, you might mess around in the situation, go go even further and they kill the clerk. Now they killed the clerk this time. You know, well, you know what? It's going to take a lot of time. Like now you're going to get more time in jail and God reset you. Now you're reset. You're even further behind. You know, now you got to move faster, you know, to get to where God have for you to go. You know, so now you've done 10 years of your life, but you reset. You can't move forward until you beat that hurdle. Now, once you turn 10, 10 years of your life and you come to the Lord and you repent and you're like, I'll never do that again. God going to put you in that position again. He going to have some friends present you with a lick or, you know, man, we got this on deck. We got this. And you're going to have to deny him. If you deny him and, you know, and, and preach the gospel to him or whatever you do, then God is going to, then you can move forward. Only then. Only then you can move forward. It's the same with Peter, man. Peter got reset. It is what it is. You know, it, it's not, not, there's no knock to Peter. Peter ended up, you know, fine. He, he did end up getting you know finding the, his true courage that god already knew he had jesus knew he had that's why he chose him he ended up finding that fortitude and um you know he followed jesus fully and he followed him to his death just like a lot of disciples man a lot of believers of the lord so with that being said peace and blessings to the hearers and doers of the lord's word this is the awakening i am solican bye-bye